Yo, this is every movie I've seen so far in 2023 ranked with number 12. I've only seen 12 movies, which was disappointing to me. I felt like I'd seen way more newer movies in the theaters, but I guess there hasn't been that much that has caught my interest. At number 12 is, I believe his name is Brandon Cronenberg. Brandon Cronenberg's Infinity Pool. This is the son of David Cronenberg. I was so on board with this movie for about the first 30 minutes. I love the premise and it was so fascinating and I love the style and then it more and more lost me and betrayed what I felt like the first 30 minutes was setting up and the quality of the first 30 minutes and just became this self-indulgent work that really was just meandering and going nowhere and Brandon Cronenberg was even referencing himself multiple times in the film and having characters call him a pretentious hack and he had a character read a review a son of a famous director who was like he, it, he basically ended up talking about his fucking self in the movie and I was like I'm over this shit at number 11 is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania this is what I believe the worst movie in the MCU I thought it was awful I always thought Iron Man 2 was the worst MCU movie and I think Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania defeated that as the worst MCU film because Iron Man 2 at least has Robert Downey Jr. and it has some stuff going for Ant-Man and the Wasp was terrible. Number 10 is Megan. I don't understand the whole Megan thing. Everybody loved Megan. Maybe I think I am just not into killer doll movies. I think I'm just not into the whole killer doll concept, but I was so bored during this movie. And like the only good stuff happened in the last like 20 minutes. I was not into this movie at all. And it was just very boring and dull to look at. Um, number nine is Knock at the Cabin. Not a bad film by M. Night Shyamalan, but not anything that I really care to remember a week later. Number eight is Renfield. Renfield, um, I like Nicolas Cage's Dracula. I like some of the stuff in that movie. I didn't like how it was like trying to be an action scene with this terrible CGI blood and I didn't like how the movie was really about cops taking down these crime lords. I thought it was about Dracula. I thought it was a fucking vampire movie about Dracula and Dracula's like assistant and Nick Cage was barely in the movie I felt like. He was there for like seven minutes. Number seven on my list is 65. I was so excited for this movie just because there used to be this dinosaur game I played that I was obsessed with. Um, when I was a younger kid where you're a dude hunting dinosaurs and that's all you do You just hunt dinosaurs in the jungle and they sneak up on you and it's really scary and This seemed like that this seemed like that video game and I was also very excited to see a dinosaur movie that wasn't fucking Jurassic World I liked a lot of the dinosaur stuff in here. I liked Adam Driver I liked him being out in the wild and you know dinosaurs are after him and he's got to watch out I hated pretty much everything with the little girl in this film. I found her character pretty annoying. I found their conversations annoying. I felt like, you know, it shouldn't be this hard to uh, communicate. It's like Adam Driver was kind of brain dead in this movie. And the way everything was ending with the, the meteor hitting, it was just a little, like, really? That's perfect timing. Um, so 65 was okay. Number six is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, I like this movie. I don't think it's as good as the first movie, but it might be better than the second Guardians. It was entertaining, but it was also two and a half hours, and a lot of it was like pretty dull and felt like it should have been on Disney Plus. And like the whole thing just felt very episodic, where it's just like, here's the characters you like doing another random adventure. This time they've got to save Rocket. And I like the Rocket backstory stuff. That was the best stuff in the movie. But uh, it was just okay. Characters were screaming so loud in the film all the time, especially Nebula. She never stopped screaming, and um, fucking the high evolutionary dude was always screaming. Number five on the list is John Wick 4. John Wick 4 was good. I liked it. I don't like how he's like a superhero. Like, he kills like 400 people in this movie. He falls like down a thousand stairs and he falls like off a couple like story buildings a couple of times and it's like he just keeps coming keeps going and he's just invincible and i would have liked just if he felt a little bit more human and some of the action scenes go on way too long this movie didn't have to be three hours long and two hours of straight action john wick 4 was okay number four was super mario bros i barely remember this movie 
but I remember being less bored in this movie than I was in all the movies I said previously. I don't think I was bored in Super Mario Bros. once. It, I didn't think it was great, but it didn't bore me, and a lot of movies this year have really bored me. Number three is Creed 3. I liked Creed 3. I like Jonathan Majors as like his opponent as the villain of the film. Um, I like their whole dynamic, and I like the backstory they gave to it and everything. I just felt it, it almost could have been 20 minutes longer. Some things happened too quickly. Like Adonis comes out of retirement to fight fucking Jonathan Majors so quickly and so suddenly. And I think they should have taken their time a little bit more with some of the some of the aspects of the film. Um, number two on this list is Scream 6. When I saw Scream 6, I did not think it would be my number two favorite film of the year at the moment. I was like, that was good. It was alright. But just looking at my list... I haven't really cared too much about any of the movies this year, so Scream 6 by default is my number 2. I like Scream 6, I like Jenna Ortega's face, it's just like a silly Scooby Doo movie, but it was okay, it was an entertaining horror movie, you know, not incredibly offensive to my patients, and I like Scream 6. The only Scream movie I don't like at this point is Scream 4. Scream 4 was terrible. But I think every Scream sequel is decently okay. And I would actually, unlike any of the other movies on this list, I would actually probably re-watch Scream 6. My number one film of the year, and it is the only film that deserves to be on the list because I haven't really loved any movie on this list up until this point. This is the only film I have seen twice in theaters since Top Gun Maverick, and that is Evil Dead Rise. I was not expecting to be such a fan of Evil Dead Rise. I love the Sam Raimi trilogy in the 80s, and I also really like the 2013 Evil Dead. And with Evil Dead Rise, that is five Evil Dead movies in this franchise, and all five of them are good. What other horror franchise can you say that with? Not Nightmare on Elm Street, not Halloween, not Friday the 13th, um, not the Alien franchise. Not the Scream movies. I don't know any other horror franchise that you could say that. That every single movie that has like five or more movies, every single one is good except the Evil Dead franchise. Evil Dead Rise was so bloody and so violent and so demonic and satanic and just like intense. And I just really loved it. And I love that they didn't do a cabin they switched it up because that would have been the easy cheap thing to just redo another evil dead movie in a cabin i love that they did it in an apartment and they gave a reason as to why you couldn't escape down you couldn't like get out because the earthquake and everything i love when they got the record and they're playing it and you hear the Conda. i didn't think it was a perfect movie but it was so satanic and violent and horrifying and fucked up and just really really good really enjoyable movie i saw it twice which i never do i haven't seen a movie twice since top gun maverick but i was just such a fan of evil dead and i'm actually gonna watch it a third time i don't know about it in theaters but when it comes out i'm definitely gonna see this movie again and yeah the evil dead franchise every single movie all five movies are all pretty good that's my favorite movies of the year so far so at 12 infinity pool 11 ant-man and the wasp 10 megan 9 Knock at the Cabin, 8 Renfield, 7 65, 6 Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, 5 John Wick 4, 4 Super Mario Bros, 3 Creed 3, 2 Scream 6, and 1 Evil Dead Rise. Etsy.com slash shop slash evil broomstick. Buy yourself a hand painted horror hat. Peace. <laughs>